Hello everyone welcome to our sports news channel. Here you are always well informed. I ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Leave your like and thank you very much. It has been nearly a month since the 2023 NFL Draft, and we now have a much better grasp of what each team's roster core will look like this season. That means we can start to project expectations for this year's batch of rookies. First-year players tend to experience a learning curve, but we will see plenty of standouts right out of the gate. Which newly drafted players will lead the pack in major statistical categories? How many yards should we expect to see from first-round QBs Bryce Young, CJ Stroud and Anthony Richardson? What are reasonable expectations for Bijan Robinson? And who will pace all rookies in tackles and sacks? Let's take a look at the top five projected leaders among rookies in a variety of categories for the 2023 season. These team and player projections are my own, compiled through a process that is both quantitative, league, team, coaching and player trends, and qualitative, projected depth chart placement and role. And for full statistical outlooks, you can head over to our projections page to sort and filter through the entire league. I update them often leading up to the start of the season. Jump to Passing Rushing Receiving TDs Tackles Interceptions Sacks Passing Yards and Touchdowns 1. Bryce Young, Carolina Panthers, 3,553 yards, 19 TDs 2. C.J. Stroud, Houston Texans, 3,348 yards, 17 TDs. 3. Anthony Richardson, Indianapolis Colts, 2,889 yards, 16 TDs. 4. Will Levis, Tennessee Titans, 629 yards, 3 TDs. 5. Stetson Bennett, Los Angeles Rams, 522 yards, 3 TDs. Let's get this out of the way quickly, barring injury, Young, first overall, Stroud, second, and Richardson, fourth, are going to play early and often as rookies, and it won't be a surprise if all three are under center in week one. The history of the position tells the story. From 2011 to 2022, 31 of 37 first-round QBs, 84%, took over as the starter prior to week 10, including 17, 46%, who started in week one. Of the 16 QBs picked in the top four, 11 started in week one and three others took over by week five, leaving Jared Goff, week 11, and Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo's backup, as the exceptions. Zoning in on Young and Stroud, 12 QBs picked either first or second overall since 2011 appeared in at least 10 games as a rookie. Those 12 averaged 3,389 yards and 17.4 touchdown passes. If we conservatively project 15 starts for Young and Stroud and take their underwhelming supporting casts into account, projections near those recent league averages make sense. Note that, of the 37 QBs drafted in the first round since 2011, only 9 reached 20 passing TDs as rookies. Richardson's passing numbers are a bit lower, but as we'll get to later, that's partially because he's expected to add substantial value with his legs. More scrambles, of course, means fewer pass attempts. Levis, second-round pick, and Bennett, fourth round, could get some late-season starts in relief of Ryan Tannehill or Matthew Stafford, respectively, if their teams aren't playoff contenders. Rushing yards and touchdowns. 1. Bijan Robinson, Atlanta Falcons, 1,118 yards, 8 TDs. 2. Jomer Gibbs, Detroit Lions, 738 yards, 7 TDs. 3. Anthony Richardson, Indianapolis Colts, 609 yards, 5 TDs. 4. Zach Charbonnet, Seattle Seahawks, 479 yards, 3 TDs. 5. Taiji Spears, Tennessee Titans, 303 yards, 
two TDs. Robinson is the major standout here after he was selected with the number 8 overall pick of April's draft. Tracing back to 2012, we've had six running backs selected in the top 10, Ezekiel Elliott, 1,631 rushing yards, Saquon Barkley, 1,307, Todd Gurley, 1,106, Leonard Fournette, 1,040, Trent Richardson, 950, and Christian McCaffrey, 435. Each of them finished as a top 10 fantasy running back as a rookie, and only McCaffrey, who did most of his damage as a receiver, was under 229 carries. Even if he defers some carries to impressive second-year RB Tyler Algeyer, Robinson won't be short massive volume and should put up similar numbers to those previous high-pick backs. Gibbs barely missed the top 10 after Detroit selected him number 12 overall. We've seen plenty of success from mid-to-late first-round RBs, Doug Martin, Najee Harris and Josh Jacobs all ran for at least 1,150 yards, but we've also had a few duds, Mark Ingram, David Wilson and Rashad Penny were held below 500 yards. Gibbs' running mate, David Montgomery, is certain for an offensive role, and that's likely to come on early downs and near the goal line, especially considering Gibbs is smaller and a terrific asset in the passing game. Gibbs is positioned for a big rookie season, and he doesn't need a 1,000-yard rushing campaign in order for it to be a success story. The aforementioned Richardson is looking to become the fifth quarterback in NFL history to rush for 600 yards as a rookie. That may suggest this projection is too high, but his rare physical traits and likelihood of starting most of the Colts games position him to get to the mark. In fact, Robert Griffin's rookie QB record of 815 yards is certainly in jeopardy. Cam Newton, 706, Lamar Jackson, 695, and Josh Allen, 631, are the others who reached the 600 mark. One quick fantasy note here, since 2011, eight QBs have finished 13th or better in fantasy points as a rookie, and all eight produced at least 213 rushing yards, 442.3 average, and four rush TDs, 6.4 average. Richardson has some risk, but he's an intriguing fantasy sleeper. Second-round pick Charbonnet landed in a tough spot as a complementary back to Kenneth Walker III in Seattle, which is certainly going to limit his output. Titans third-rounder Spears was extremely efficient at Tulane, and he'll battle Hassan Haskins and Julius Chestnut for the number two gig behind Derrick Henry in Tennessee this season. And Bears fourth round rookie Roscon Johnson, 281 yards, just missed the cut, but he's a name to watch, with Khalil Herbert and Dante Foreman his top competition for touches. This video continues.